All right, hey Aries. So you guys, I am doing a twin flame energy update. These are gonna be pretty quick. So for those of you who are on the twin journey, um, last month I said I was gonna start doing these once a month. So you're gonna, um, you'll know if this is your read. If you don't resonate with the energy that's pulled, then check your uh, moon, no, I'm sorry, don't, uh, the, the intention I set was to, to cross watch um, your twins read. Um, I apologize for that. And there is no time limit on these just because um, with divine timing and the twin flame journey, um, you know, we can't really tell you what, when everything is going to align with you. Okay. But you'll be able to see from what I pull the shift in energy and the way we're going. All right, so I'm pulling a chakra card and the intention to pull this card is gonna show you where um, you can focus healing, unblocking, etc. as far as your chakras go. All right, and we have um, card 10, this is creativity. Um, and with this card right here, this is coming through your uh, sacral uh, chakra, okay? And you and your twin probably, um, what I'm gonna say about this card is you guys, um, if you have been intimate, um, um, you're probably maybe even feeling that urge just because the sacral chakra does, um, it, it, it is creativity, but it's also, you know, um, the sexual energy. And this is also hinting to a divine masculine energy just as well. So when you um, go into um, clearing or even meditation and you're doing the chakra alignment, um, focus some um, extra um, healing, right? Envisioning the energy bodies sitting in front of each other and connecting and just um, really um, sending that love and healing energy to uh, your twin okay um so with that being said this one's going to be a little bit different from the way i pulled last month but not too extremely different i'm just going to um, start with the masculine so the blue deck is going to represent masculine energy and it doesn't matter if you're a female or a male um because we both um, uh, we both carry the uh, feminine and masculine energy, correct? So um, the in, the intention for the blue deck is the masculine. So you might resonate more with um, if you're a man, you might resonate with the feminine um, energy that I pull, and it just uh, could be the way that your dynamic is. All right. So for the masculine in Aries. Um, read so i'm just going to pull um the energy of masculine so we have the nine of pentacles coming through you guys know i don't read reversals unless i feel drawn um, but the nine of pentacles is um it's going to show you that masculine right now is um, very much um, just putting all efforts and energy into self this is a very independent card um you know so maybe even focusing on their independence where maybe before they have dealt with codependence all right um I'm not going to get too deep dive into the um, the energy of um, the masculine Aries. All right. Um, this is just focusing on self and making um, their own uh, wishes, dreams and um, things happen in life. The situation, um, Knight of Pentacles energy. So um, some wounded warrior um, when it comes to especially the dynamic that you two are in. Um, they're moving really, really slow, but they're trying to work through, you know, their own hurts, um, anguish pain you know so um, still embodying and carrying wounds um, from uh, previous situations even down to childhood all right everybody is going to have their own different little journey right there um, and in the physical world the physical aspects the ace of wands so there's a lot of uh, creativity going on with masculine inspiration i'm um, actually um, looking forward to um, new beginnings okay and this could even be um, where you guys are like in the 5d meeting up you know I just feel like there's a lot of sexual energy coming through um, but I do feel like that's hinting towards the feminine okay um, mentally 
um, very, very much focused on self. There's a lot of coins here. Very much focused on self, um, independence, making money, um, but also too, this could represent um, the uh, feminine energy. So if the feminine is more in alignment to independent energy, um, uh, I feel like the masculine is focusing on um, mirroring, being that same um, um, strong independent um, um, energy, right? And also to this uh, queen of pentacles energy just could just represent the feminine that is um, uh, that the masculine has been thinking about. All right. Um, positive, positive energy and the emotional body. We have the page of wands. So new beginnings again, fire <laughs> and coins. So you could definitely be dealing with um, an earth, earth sign here. Um, but emotionally, um, what I'm going to say with the page of wands is um, this is what this person is kind of bringing into the connection. So there could be just a lot of um, a lot of leveling up that the masculine needs to do. All right. Um, because I feel and I don't want to judge or anything, but on the twin flame journey, you can't be a page trying to match energy with, um, uh, you know, a king or a queen. Um, you could very well be, but it just, to me on the twin flame journey, the page, um, in the emotional body is, is just kind of showing that there's still some work that needs to be done. Right. So that's what I'm pulling for the masculine. And then for the feminine, we're just going to break down and see how the feminine's feeling. I'm going to combine these two and we're going to get the uh, mutual fears, doubts, love, the wishes, and the advice. So um, you will either resonate with feminine or masculine. All right. So when it comes to the feminine energy, um, feminine focused on the masculine for sure. Um, Emperor card coming through Aries. Um, but the feminine is definitely, definitely just... Um, and I feel like this is really, really positive energy. So even if you guys are not speaking, if there's been like a little bump in the road, if there's some ghosting or some just a um, null activity going on, just know that the feminine is very, very much focused um, and centered around her masculine. All right, the feminine's current situation, we have the five of swords. So if um, feminine is not getting a lot of contact from masculine, I feel like this is mental um, anguish, some mental conflict going on, like, oh, screw it, screw the journey. No, I love them, kind of, you know, just dealing dealing with their own thing. Um, and I do feel like it is very much a mental energy. I don't feel like it's physical or, or um, acting out in the literal. Physically, the feminine, okay we have the eight of cups and i do want to kind of keep this in the reverse position because i do feel like the feminine physically here here's what we're doing it's it's with the mental with the mental um concept going on i do feel like we're we're kind of fighting with ourselves right now should i walk away and i do feel like this is going to be in reference to actually walking away from the situation giving it up to the universe and just letting it go so really coming to peace and terms with what you got to do right to um accelerate it but we can't do that out of ego okay um mentally the Ten of Swords coming through. So I do feel like this is, you know, the Ten of Swords is about sad endings. It's about sad emotional endings. And I feel like this card is coming through just because um, in reverse, um, it's it's kind of like just being over it. I'm just over it. I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to um, kick my own um, booty over this. I'm just going to let it go. Seems like masculine's over here just doing whatever masculine wants to do. And feminine could be just um, so focused on masculine that um, you know, it's kind of it's we're realizing that it's time to just walk away and just kind of give it up to the universe and for the um, emotional body waiting for ships to come in. So I, it, you know, overall walking away, um, I, I don't feel like you're sad. I don't feel like I kind of just feel like you're just kind of what's mine is mine. Um, emotionally, my ships will come in. The wind is mine and what is mine is mine. All right. So that's where you guys are sitting independent from each other. Now, combining um, for mutual feelings, this is how you guys feel towards one another. Okay, so um, in the fears, um, you know, it's it's like this. Um, 
can I be the person that I need to be for this relationship? Okay, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crisscross this because what I feel is the masculine um, could just be like, I'm not, I, I, I'm not up to par. All right, so the fears when it comes to the masculine is I'm not, I, I don't feel like I can um, uh, live up to this test. The connection's super deep. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I be this person? And on the feminine side, when the fears come in, it's am I gonna be single? Or are we not gonna come together? All right, if you look at these, we have the emperor and the um, single independent card. And I just feel what's weighing with the feminine is am I going to be single is this coming together will I have the masculine okay um, fears and doubts are kind of going hand in hand but um, with doubts you know um, somebody's too wounded you know um, the the doubts coming through on the feminine I'm gonna say um, this person they take a long time masculine takes a long time they're taking too long how long has it been two two years three years ten years this person is just taking forever. How long is it going to be? Is it ever going to happen in this lifetime? And the masculine um, fears over here, I just, uh, they're, they're wounded. And are they going to be dealing with the same um, behavior that they've dealt with that caused the wounds to begin with if they, um, you know, merge with you? Especially if we've had these little tidbits of acting out. Um, I think that we're all guilty of that. Um, when it comes to love, okay this eight of cups remember how it comes in uh reverse i feel mutually you guys want to walk towards each other because there is a lot of passion here so it's like a renewed sense of passion okay and this is all mental right here um this is where you guys are feeling mutual coming back together can we do this can we re-spark re all right and reignite the light that we know that we both hold okay um the wishes not to be over with we don't want to be over with the wishes mutual energy is going to say um you know i take care of you you take care of me let's bring this together and build you know our empire right um but this is also too we're not the pains of the past are gone we're here to support love and nurture each other take care of each other not only emotionally but physically just as well all right and then the advice um that's coming in combined mutual energy is if you guys have not heard from this person your twin they are going to be coming in you're going to be receiving some news if you haven't already and what i am going to do is i'm going to pull from the twin flame deck and we're going to see how everything aligns and you're going to know where you guys sit at in um this um, um in this i'm going to pull uh, five steps and you're going to see where you guys are aligning at in your journey um but your advice for here is there is going to be a a breakthrough on this Aries there is going to be communication you guys are this is not over this is written okay it is written so patient um, patience is going to be huge obviously but just know that your ships are coming in and everything that you um, um, mentally project manifest pray about is going to come to you you will be receiving all right um, so just you guys got to stay positive so let's just see how you guys are aligning with the the twin deck for Aries and Aries twin. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. All right, so, no, oh, look at that. We have marriage, outcome, masculine, observe, and a travel okay so i'm gonna say this aries you guys could be dealing with uh, the twin flame dynamic at a distance okay so this is what's lining up for you guys so just know um i just want to make sure that this is how i want to leave these okay i'm gonna put the masculine over here okay all right, so you guys are gonna know where you kind of sit at. So we have observed coming through social media, fascination, curiosity, and watching from a distance. I feel like that's what you guys are currently focused on. Um, and you uh, could be drawn to um, be on path number one or um, any of these five paths. All right, but I, I feel compelled to put that first because I do feel like this is mutual energy. You guys are observing each other. Even if you haven't heard from this masculine, he is too. She is too. 
uh, opposite of the masculine. Um, masculine energy coming out. Your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate is seeking you. Okay, and I feel like we can see that in, in the masculine energy. All right, and that's going to resonate more towards, um, well, it's going to resonate on both of you guys. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Um, women can very well be and embody the masculine um, energy in the twin flame dynamic. Um, we have travel coming through, movement, meeting, adventure, and be ready for new experiences. And I don't feel like this is going to per se, it doesn't have to be at a distance, um, but I do feel like the travel, the meeting, the adventure, be ready for new experiences. This is all going to be in convergence when you guys are coming together. Okay. So, um, you know, you could be well past some of this and still kind of questioning the energy and the feeling of your twin. All right, but just know that you guys, um, if anything, you're going to be traveling towards each other. All right, we have outcome, results, um, conclusion, ending, and you will get a resolution. And then right after this, you guys, we have marriage. So you guys are definitely going to be a part of the twin dynamic that does mar that does um, resolve your situation in marriage, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, and societal contract. I do feel like you guys are going to bring that to um, your twin flame dynamic. Okay. So I'm going to leave it right there. I do hope that you guys, um, this is very, very uplifting. I'm going to pull a card from um, the soul truth. And this is just something that I asked your spirit guides. Maybe what you need to hear is a message. Am I focused on what I want most? All right. One reason so few of us achieve what we really want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate on our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. So today's soul action is what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make some adjustments? Prioritize. All right. And I feel like that can go um, any which way with you guys. And then just to close this out, I'm going to pull um, just a chakra love card. We got hearts coming through. Hearts and um, sacral again. So creation, creativity, creation. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Okay. And then you're coming through with the heart chakra. So love, love is a verb. So make it your most treasured action, you guys. Um, I do hope that you have enjoyed this um, style of update. Um, please comment. Let me know where you guys are at on your own journey. All right. I'm going to leave it there and you guys take care.